This is Adi Sharma Solution Class 12 Chapter 5 Algebra of Matrices Exercise is 5.3 Now if A is equal to this matrix and I is the identity matrix of order 3 we have to show that A cube is equal to P into I plus Q into A plus R into A square So these kind of questions are coming uh, you know, in the later parts also So we have to find out A cube so I'll just try to tell you what is a, a cube will multiply a thrice three times and i is the identity matrix of order three that is three ones in the diagonal so we are going to do a dot a and the result you also have to multiply a again so I'm going to just show you the first part that is we are trying to find out the a squared a squared is this is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, PQR. This is A. And again, A we are putting 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And PQR. So you know how to multiply now. By now, this row, this column. So what do you get? See. 0 into 0, leave it. 1 into 0, leave it. And P into 0, leave it. So all will be this 0. Okay, everything is zero. There is uh, I just written uh, P I guess so I'll just remove it. First row, second column. So first row, second column. Again, leave zero, zero, and again zero will come. The third will come as one. Okay. See in the second row, all the first element will be zero. So just write the last row of the second matrix P Q, and you write R. Now. This row and this column. So 0, 0 is there. So only R into P will come. Next one is this P will come. Q will be 0 and Q square will come. So P plus RQ. So R, this is RP. Then we have RQ, P plus RQ. Then we have P0, Q and R square. Q plus R square. Now this is not done. This is A square. Now we'll put it here, but we have to find out a cube also. So a cube, we will we'll multiply this again with a. That is again write 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, pqr and then multiply. This is the final result of a cube. So it will take some time. So I'll just show you the final result. I hope you'll be able to do. I'm just showing you the final result. You know row with column, first row with all the three columns, then increase the row numbers and that is how you do. Well, let me write the final final values. A cube is like this. So P R P, P Q R, R P P plus R Q, Q plus R square, P Q plus R square P, R P plus Q square plus R square P, R Q, R square Q and P plus 2 R Q and R Q. So let me write uh, these values on, on the right hand side. So we'll try to show that is that will come as a cube. So p into i, what is the diagonal matrix? It will be diagonal. All three values will be one, one, one. This is your p. Then you have q into a. What is a? Again the same matrix zero one zero 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 one p q r. And then we have plus r into a square. A square we already found out. So this, this matrix I am writing here, I am not putting it here, but I am just telling you, we will write, multiply R and then we will write. So let us multiply P with this matrix, so all 1, 1 value will become P, so only the diagonal values will be P, and all of, all the values are Q now, just, just leave the zero ones, 0, 0 like that, Q into 1 is Q, 0, 0 is Q, and uh, PQ, Q square and RQ. And what about this one? Now you just have to write everything here multiplied by R. So let me first add these two P plus 0. Third element I am taking from here plus I am multiplying R with the A squared and I am writing it here. Okay. So I am multiplying R. So let me just write it here only. Let us write it here so that we just have a fair idea. I am writing this 
I'm multiplying it by R by itself. So just this A square we have already computed. Okay, so this is R into P. It will be zero. This this uh, zero zero zero. I I told you earlier also. This is zero. So I'm just changing it because zero zero all are zeros. So okay. Rest things are okay, but the first one I just changed it, so it is zero. So R into zero, it is going to give you the so R into zero going to be zero only. Then R into zero again zero. R into one is going to be R. And then we have R P, and this is going to be R Q, and this is going to be R square. This is R square uh, P. Then R P plus R square Q. Third thing I am writing here, R Q plus R Q. Now I am adding P plus zero, P plus zero plus zero. P plus zero plus zero will be the first entry. Then we have zero plus Q, zero plus Q plus zero. Then it will be zero plus zero plus R. Next one. Zero plus zero plus R P, R P. Then we have P plus zero plus R Q. Then we have zero plus Q plus R square. The third one. This is zero plus P Q plus R square P. Then we have zero plus Q square. Plus R P plus R square Q, R P plus R square Q. Then the third one, last one is P plus Q R or R Q plus R Q plus R R Q. Now this value, just see what it is coming. So just just uh, forget about the zero. I'm not going to write it again. I'm just showing you. So this A Q was, as I said, it has to come as R A Q. So is it equal? See, this is P, this is Q, this is R P, this is R Q, this is R square. A P R P, this P plus R Q plus Q plus R square. This is P Q plus R square P. This is R P plus uh, Q square plus R square Q. This is P plus R Q and R Q is two R Q. So P plus two R Q plus R Q. Next one is if omega is Complex cube root of unity. Show that. So before I go ahead, let me give you an idea here that uh, these cube root of unity they have certain relationship. One plus omega plus omega square is equal to zero, and omega cube is equal to one. There are two ways to solve this. Both ways you can do it. So one, I am adding it first. Two matrices have to be. Added one plus omega, then omega plus omega square, omega square plus one, then omega plus omega square, then omega square plus one. So omega square plus one. Then we have one plus omega, one plus omega. Third one, the omega square plus omega, then one plus omega square. Then omega plus one. Third one is omega plus one. It is not omega square. It is omega plus one. Okay, I'll just change it. So either you write it all and multiply it with one omega omega square. That will take a uh, a bit time. Or I'll just uh, use the identity to make it simpler, a bit simpler. You know, ultimately you have to multiply a whole thing. I'm just saying that I'm just uh, trying to make it easier. So only one thing I need to change. The last one is omega plus one, not omega square plus one. So I just change it. Okay. So we'll, let us use the identity. The multiplication will be simpler. So I'll use this uh, one plus omega plus omega square and omega cube equals one in order to make it some simpler because one plus omega is what minus omega square. One plus omega is minus omega square. So omega cube is one. We know this. Let me show you again. One plus. We'll just uh, try to uh, 
राइट दी फाइनल वैल्यू वन प्लस ओमेगा इज माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर ओमेगा प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू वन प्लस ओमेगा प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इज वॉट जीरो सो ओमेगा प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर विल बी वॉट नेगेटिव वन राइट इट नेगेटिव वन ओमेगा स्क्वायर प्लस वन इट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस ओमेगा देन वी हैव दिस वन ओमेगा प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इट इज गोइंग टू बी नेगेटिव वन वन प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इट इज गोइंग टू बी माइनस ओमेगा वन प्लस ओमेगा इज माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर ओमेगा स्क्वायर प्लस ओमेगा इज माइनस वन वन प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर इज माइनस ओमेगा एंड वन प्लस ओमेगा इज माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वायर सिंस ऑल द वैल्यूज आर नेगेटिव यू कैन टेक माइनस वन कॉमन इट विल मेक योर कंप्यूटेशन ईजियर बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप इट लाइक दैट दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल आई डू विथ नेगेटिव साइन ऑन बट आई वुड स्ट्रॉन्गली सजेस्ट यू to take the negative sign outside i'm doing it directly so minus omega square into 1 plus omega into minus 1 plus omega square into omega that is omega cube coming to the second one minus 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 minus omega and omega square minus omega square and omega minus or this minus omega to the power 4 right minus 1 uh, then we have this minus omega square minus omega to the power 4 so when you will learn determinant if two rows of the determinants are same the value will be same there will be zero but we'll do it that is the later part we'll learn in determinants but here you can take in the first one see omega omega plus omega square is what it is going to be omega plus omega square is going to be minus 1 so just take minus both sides omega plus omega square will be what will be 1 what is omega cube as i said it is 1 omega cube is 1 so just write 1 here 1 minus 1 will be 0 so the first row becomes 0 now coming here 1 plus omega square as i just said it is going to be minus 1 but since it is uh, already negative it will be plus 1 so it will be minus 1 plus omega square i can write it it is going to be minus 1 minus minus plus omega and now omega to the power 4 omega to the power 4 can be written as omega cube and omega omega cube is 1 so it will be omega this is one only omega will remain so that is minus omega second row also becomes zero then we have third one same thing this is 1 plus omega square you can write omega to the power 4 is 1 we just saw and 1 plus omega square is what it is going to be this omega minus omega is going to be zero so this is how it the zero comes so you can take do directly also this way also you can take negative outside also all the ways are possible next one is a is this one and you have to show that a square equals a i hope you'll be able to do you just have to multiply a twice and it will come as a because we have plenty of questions to do a square equals i3 So when you do a dot a, it should come as identity. Identity is what one 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 in the diagonal. So four minus one minus four. This is just a man, man, the, the matrix multiplication, nothing else. So I am just doing it for the sake of completion. I could have skipped it, but because you know we cannot skip all the questions, uh, we just need to do in between some or the other questions so that we have a bit idea. So four into four is sixteen minus three. First row and first column I'm doing. Minus four. This is twelve. First row and second column now. Four minus four is going to be zero. Minus four minus one is plus four. Then first row, third column. Minus four minus four minus sixteen. Minus one minus four is plus four. Minus four and minus three is twelve. Now second row, first column. Three into four twelve, zero into three is zero, and uh, minus four into three is minus twelve. Then second row and second column. Three into minus four is minus three. Zero into zero zero. Minus four into minus one is plus four. You get plus four here. Now it is it is becoming that identity matrix. If you see very closely, it is uh, going that way ahead. Now the second row and third column. Four is twelve. Negative twelve. Zero minus four is zero, and minus four minus three is minus twelve. Uh, plus twelve minus minus will be plus. Now third row, first column, fourth is a twelve. 
And minus one into three is minus three, and this three three nine negative nine. Then you have a third row and second column. You can you can skip this question also. Okay, I'm just doing it because it's much matrix multiplication. So minus three plus three and three four twelve minus twelve minus one minus four is four minus three minus three is plus nine. Okay, now just see. This is sixteen minus fifteen. Sixteen minus fifteen is what? It is going to be one. And we wanted and that the diagonal should come one. This four four minus three is one. I'm taking the diagonals only. Uh, four nine is thirteen. Thirteen minus twelve is one. Four minus four zero. This is also zero. Twelve minus twelve zero. Twelve minus twelve zero. Twelve minus twelve zero. Three minus three zero. Okay. This is the identity matrix of three by three order. Three cross three matrix. So we have this two question number twenty four. The first one and second one they are exactly same. And uh, how do we do it? Do we do we do both of uh, them or let us see one of them so that you have an idea how to solve this kind of question? We just have to do the matrix multiplication. The first is in front of you. I am doing the second one. The type of first question we'll do uh, in the later question. Okay, there, there there are questions coming which are exactly like the twenty four first part. So I am just directly when trying two one is. Uh, two minus six, then minus six, uh, minus uh, minus six plus twelve. Five is a five. Five is seven. Five, seven is a fourteen. Minus fourteen. Five uh, five minus three is minus fifteen. Seven four is a twenty eight. Okay, so we have to multiply it with what? So let me just uh, write it. Uh, this is minus four. This is minus uh, nine. This is going to be six, and this is going to be thirteen. Thirty eight minus fifteen is going to be thirteen. I multiply it with this uh, uh, matrix minus four, six, negative nine, and x. Okay. So row column, row column. That is how we have to do it. So this this uh, multiplication is not there. Actually, it is equal to. So just x is equal to thirteen. That is the final answer. This is equal, not multiplication. Uh, I just need to correct myself. It is equal to. So this uh, multiplication, three multiplications you have to do. Uh, better you multiply the second matrix and third matrix, and then multiply it with the first matrix, and you will directly get the x value from there because it is zero, eventually. So as I said, we have questions like this, and uh, we just saw the twenty-four question first part, and as I said, uh, we'll do this question because this is a quadratic equation. This is just a linear equation we got. But in this twenty fifth, we we will get a quadratic equation. Okay, let us do it. First row, and there are two x's, so two into x, four into one, and zero. So two x plus four will come. So x into one, x four into zero is zero. Four into two eight. Uh, four four to the eight. Okay, so I'll just change it. So x to two x and four to the eight and minus four, right? We have to multiply this by x four and negative one. Two so x plus four, and this is x plus x plus this two x plus four. Now let us multiply it by x four and one. Okay. So I'll just change the middle one. Just wait a bit. Let us multiply two x plus four into x is this one. And then we have four x plus two, and then we have negative two x plus four take two x minus four because it is because it is negative two x square plus four x and this value. Then we have minus two x minus four. It is minus two x minus four. So we get two x square four four and two is going to be eight minus two is six x. And this is this is. As I said, it's going to be four. How it is going to be four? Four to the eight. That's what we need to change. Eight minus four is four. So let us divide both uh, sides by two. You get x square plus three x plus two equals zero. This can be written as x square plus three x can be written as x plus two x plus two. Now take x common from here. X plus one you get two common x plus one you get so x plus one into x plus two. Is equal to zero, so x plus one equals zero. That gives x equals minus one and x equals minus two. So this is your final value. Okay, this question I hope you'll be able to do. 
24th question first part 25th question and 26 they are absolutely exactly same i hope you'll be able to do this this is a and this is i then you have to prove a square minus a plus 2i is equal to 0 so are we going to do it because you know this type of questions uh, are going to come uh, but since it is 2 by 2 we can do it quickly so you know the idea how to solve it. this a dot a is 3 minus 2 4 minus 2 so let me write a again 3 4 minus 2 minus 2 this row this column so 3 3 is a 9 4 2 is a 8 minus 8 this row this column so 3 3 3 and 3 to the 6 and minus minus is going to be 4 plus 4 now second row first column 4 is a 12 and minus 8 the second row second column 4 minus 4 minus 4 is 8 and and this will be plus 4 so you get 1 here you get uh, 4 minus 6 is negative 2 12 minus 8 is 4 and 4 minus 8 is minus 4 now let us multiply it with the okay this is a square now subtract a from it because i am putting it in the equation 3 minus 2 4 and negative 2 plus twice of i what is the identity matrix this one so multiply this with 2 2 2 2 0 0 2. diagonal is 2 okay let me change the pen now okay directly we will write so 1 minus 3 plus 2 then for this second one minus 2 minus minus plus 2 and then 0 4 minus 4 plus 0 minus 4 plus 2 and plus this is going to be minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 or oh, minus 4 plus 2 oh sorry plus 2 and plus 2 yes so this is going to be 0 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 4 minus 4 is also 0 okay so this is the answer Now this is the 28th question. We have to find out lambda here. So in order to find out the lambda, next question is also like this. It is not lambda, but just you have to find out a square and put values and just try to, you know, fixate the equation or fulfill the equation. So there are questions coming like the 29th question and the uh, different questions are there. So 28th will do because uh, it is asking for lambda. A square is what? Okay, I'll just show you directly. A square is going to come like this. I hope you'll be do, able to do a dot a. So this is a square I'm writing directly. And this is equal to what? This is 5a. I'm multiplying this with 5. 5 is a 15. 5 minus 5. 5 is a 5. 5 is a 10. So 5a is there. Then plus lambda into i lambda into i that is multiply lambda with this identity matrix so all these uh, diagonal value will be lambda actually so lambda lambda 0 0 now add matrix on the right hand side and equate it to the left hand side so 15 plus lambda so you don't have to compute anything else because 15 plus lambda is equal to 8 because they are equal matrix okay just write it here 8 minus 15 lambda will be equal to minus 7 Lambda is negative 7. This is the answer. So same thing. I am just skipping it because you just have to put the values and show it to be 0. This again same thing. Multiply A twice and then just write this value. Minus this is 1. This is the identity matrix. Identity matrix 2 by 2 is diagonal is 1. Okay. So this is a big exercise a cube minus 4a square plus a now you can do in two ways i'm just telling you if you want to multiply it thrice it's well and good i'm just saying take a common what do you get a square minus 4a square 4a plus 1 oh i hope you got the idea so if you are able to show a square minus 4a plus 1 is 0 then of course this whole equation will be 0 you don't have to compute a cube they see a cube already being done. I'm just suggesting that 
the other way to do this question is just, just take a common when you take a common only a square minus 4a plus 1 will be there so i'll just show you this is a square i'm writing a square here a square i'm directly getting from the content already uh, printed and this is minus 4 so i'm multiplying a with 4 so this is 4 into a plus 1 1 is what identity matrix i 1 is nothing it is i so 1 0 0 1 now you see if this comes 0 then everything is 0 so this see 7 minus 8 plus 1 what is this 7 minus 8 plus 1 is what it is 12 minus 12 plus 0 what 4 minus 1 plus 0 4 minus no 4 minus this is 4 so multiply 4 why, why are we not writing 4 4 minus 4 plus 0 7 minus 8 plus 1 okay this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 everything is coming 0 even if it is multiplied by a it doesn't matter so rather than doing all these just take a common if this is this depends on uh, you know if this is of 5 marks you have to do a q minus 4 a square plus 2 if it is 2 marks just take a common okay this uh, is the they are trying to find out the roots this also you will be able to find out this cbsc 2004 put the values now a is this and uh, first and second so a to the power 4 we have to use oh so we are going to do it because it is an ncrt question okay thank you so much